All right, Shalom. All praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to elders of GMS. Much love to the elect brethren on the four corners of the planet, because that's who we're set up to seal, the 144,000 and the one-third of Israel. All right, um, we, uh, I put together this, uh, I found these stories. Um, you guys have noticed this chemical spill that's happening. That's this uh, pretext unto this martial law, man, because they're showing you how, how quickly water can run out and how scarce that things can get, okay? But uh, before I read that, I just wanted to read this um, quick, quick scripture. This is the book of 2nd Ezra 11, verse um, 42. And it says, For thou hast afflicted the meek, thou hast hurt the peaceable, thou hast lo loved liars, and destroyed the dwelling of them that brought forth fruit, and hast cast down the walls of such as did thee no harm. It's like it. Verse 44, and it says, The highest also has looked upon the proud times. And what times is that? It's the times we're living in now. You got this homosexuality that's running rampant. You got all these uh, wayward doctrines. You know, it, it just, the unconsciousness movement, all these other things, they're proud times, man. Because to be proud against the Most High is to deny, deny the power of the Most High and His, in, in his existence. And it says, um... For it says 43 and it says therefore is thy therefore is thy wrongful dealings come up to the highest and thy pride unto the mighty the highest is looked looked upon the proud times and behold they are ended and his abominations are fulfilled who is he talking to he's talking to Esau he's talking to Babylon the great <laughs> Because you read this, it's speaking of Babylon the Great and uh, the Roman Empire, which is talking about Esau. Okay, the times of Esau's rulership is over with, man. It's ended. That's how it's going down now. It's not at its peak. It's not at its incline. It's at its decline. It says, The highest also looked upon the proud times, and behold, they are ended, and his abominations are fulfilled. Therefore, appear no more, thou eagle, nor thy horrible wings, nor thy wicked feathers nor thy merciless head, nor thy hurtful claws, nor all thy vain body. That's why it's talking about America, man. Now, this, that's who the Most High is going to destroy in these last days. That's that eagle. That's why it uses the animalistic symbol as an eagle for America. And it says, um, Thy horrible wings, nor thy uh, wicked feathers, nor thy merciless head, nor thy uh, hurtful claws, nor all thy vain body that all the earth may be refreshed and may return, being delivered from thy violence, and that she may hope for the judgment and mercy of him that made her. So let's start these videos. Yeah, these, you know, these damn, these damn advertisements, man. People in nine West Virginia counties have been told not to drink the water, <coughs> bathe, cook, or wash clothes because of a chemical spill. The chemical used to prepare coal leaked into the Elk River near West Virginia's capital, Charleston, on Thursday morning. We were fairly confident earlier today that our water treatment plant was uh, an advanced activated carbon treatment plant could handle uh, any issues that we had, but it's, it's clear that that has migrated through to our finished water. West Virginia Governor Earl Ray Tomlin declared a state of emergency and asked federal emergency officials to send bottled water. Officials say they aren't sure what hazard the chemical poses to people. Residents say it makes the air smell like licorice. We've had some complaints about uh, eyes burning, things of that nature. It's a kind of a, a sweet smell, almost. It smells almost like candy. Residents rushed to area <laughs> stores for bottled water, then started buying ice when the water ran out. There's okay. grabbing stuff and just taking out the door left and right. That's crazy. Yep. What are you going to do about showering or well, cleaning honey, your baby? You're going to melt this down. That's what you're going to do, like you did back in the old days, put a little tub, put them in there, and just take a, you know, like a bird bath. The order not to use the water has affected at least 100,000 homes and businesses. <laughs> Sandy oh, Cozell, the Associated Press. All right. <laughs> a little tub. 
<laughs> oh man, beautiful times we live in. Um, real quick, I'm gonna show you what it does to you, okay? Um, we'll read this page real quick, and it says, "What is for metha sali hexen?" I cannot say this at all. Metha metha ye sili cohexa metho. All right, you guys are seeing it right here. I mean, it's a, it's a long ass word. That's how Esau does it, man. All his damn mischief words. It's just a combination of different chemicals to, you know, make the word. But um, right here, and it says, CNN. It says more than a hundred thousand people in Central Southwest Virginia has been uh, advised not to drink the water because it is possibly unsafe. A 48,000 ga 48, gallon storage tank along the Elk River is leaking into the, in, uh, a chemical called 4-methylhexanmethyl is often uh, confused with other seminal name chemicals, similarly named chemicals that can potentially be lethal. To help avoid confusion, here are some information about 4-methanol, I'll just say 4-methanol taken from the American Association of Poison Control Center and CNN previous reporting. This chemical is used to wash coal before it is go, it goes to market to reduce ash, also known as the fourth flo uh, flotation process, the fourth flotation process of coal preparation. People can ex people can be exposed to this chemical by inhal inhalation, ingestion, skin and or eye contact, symptoms, nausea, vomiting, dizziness, headache, diarrhea, red or irritated skin, itching, rashes. Little is known about the safety implication of it's not safe, okay? So I just wanted to show you that before we hop into the next video so you can have a little basis of what that chemical is. It's used to wash coal out, man. You know, it's just the madness that Esau goes through, man. He's a base, he's a base man. He's a base man. I can't really wait on this. We'll just click into the next video <clears throat> and then we'll get into some uh, articles. this all right in the united states up to 300,000 people in west virginia have spent a second night without tap water after a chemical <laughs> look at these high city these high city hey man they're getting cursed man look at them look off you know they they trying to maintain that aura of you know you know we're better and you know we're keeping it no nah, man the most high now cursing you people man you see how quick it takes to, to take that, that, that comfort away, man? You know, you sitting up here trying to look all 